there. So before we get back to our design, I want to answer a very common question that I get all the time, which is how do I make my logo on a transparent background? Well, the way that I usually do it is in Photoshop or GIMP. You basically bring in your logo, you put a transparent background behind it and a layer underneath. Then you select with the magic wand tool the area that you want to make transparent. You hit delete and then you export the image. But for some people, that's a bit too much. Other people who still want to do it free and quickly without Photoshop and GIMP, there are lots of tools available. Let's try this one, Lunapic. Okay, so first we upload our photo to make transparent. Looks easy enough. Browse. And okay, so here's our image on a white background. It's going to upload. You can also do it from a URL. All right, let's see if it'll do it. If I just click one time on the white. Look at that. Look how quick that was. And it's pretty good, right? So yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, optional, adjust transparency threshold. Okay, no, that looks pretty good to me. Wow. So yeah, that, that's uh, quick and easy. And now let's see if it will let me download it. So what do I do? Save or share on Facebook, uh, Tumblr, etc. Okay, let's see if we can save it. Wow, that was fast. Okay, so now if I go back to my image, you'll see I put in a new image over here and my logo is going to go here. Now I already have logos here. Please don't mind these really bad images of me from last summer at Udemy Live. Okay, so let's uh, let's upload the image that we just put in and made in Lunapic. So we downloaded it. Wow, that took less than a minute. Here it is. So it's going to upload. All right, it's ready. I click and here it is. So here's my logo. Now it just goes in the middle of my uh, image here. So I'm going to resize it and I'm going to move it to where I want it to go. So I'm trying to make use of this uh, negative space here. And there we go. Now this is almost ready, but my image has too many colors in it. The logo doesn't really, it's transparent now, which is great, but I actually would be great if it actually tied in with the rest of the image. There's no green anywhere else in this image. Now, obviously you have to make sure if you're working with a business, if they don't mind that you take their logo and then you make it a different color for certain purposes. Um, Anastasia who owns Healing Hands doesn't mind. This is her regular logo, but then I tend to tint it other colors to go with certain graphics. I can make it black and white. A good logo is versatile and a good uh, business owner will understand that a good logo is versatile. It's not that you change the logo. It's not like I'm putting it in a different font, but just to change the color uh, shouldn't be too much of an issue. So in the next lesson, I will show you how to work with some of the filters that allow you to change things that you have, such as a logo, so that you tint them or put an effect on them. But uh, yeah, we're making progress here. See you in the next lesson.